half-time period has been Giuseppe Reiner, a 27-year-old forward of Italian-German descent. And there's no appearance in the second half for Adam. First of two trips to Glasgow in the space of four days. They face Celtic in the CIS Insurance Cup on Wednesday. League points at stake today, though. Match commentator Archie McPherson. Conditions overhead are absolutely appalling, but miraculously, the Ibrox pitch from here anyway looks eminently playable. And the groundsman did ensure me uh, about half an hour ago that despite the deluge, there's absolutely no danger to this match. So the players went into each other with the Rangers making two largely expected changes. Lorenzo Amoruso, the captain, back in his usual defensive position in place of Vidmar. Van Bronckhorst, of course, is suspended. So Neil McCann makes up the 11. And up front, of course, we'll have Wallace and Jonathan Johansson. And here's a gentleman who proves the old adage that if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. At first, disappointment at Ibrox, and now, to my mind, and in the view of many others, Rangers' outstanding player this season. The name, of course, Craig Moore. Wild and DE seeking their first win at Ibrox in 15 years, play their normal formation. They love uh, Tweed Smith and Ireland at the back, Van Ice. Billio and McSkimming with Boyack in front of them in midfield and Grady and Anna and Grady is in in place of Willie Faulkner who was concussed last week. And here's a gentleman with uh, an interesting pedigree, Patrizio Billio from Italy, who was on the books of AC Milan at one stage. Referee for today, Mike McCurry. Well, I hope the referee uh, and the groundsman are right in the judgment of this pitch. The groundsman saying that it was playable, the referee inspecting it, because in the, the warm-up, I know there was a lot of splashing as the ball was played uh, across uh, the players just in front of each penalty area, so we shall see. And by the way, despite the fact that the proverbial mile between these two teams in the league, the last time they met, it was a splendid game as Dundee go right in there in the first touch by the Rangers goalkeeper Thomas Meyer on loan from Everton as we all now know yes McCann came on as the sub on Thursday night uh, you can see the pitch did hold that pass back by Albert well I think it's still in play no linesman says it's out Allen playing it all the way back. Followed by Stephen Tweed. Well, Dan Chuk did a decent game for Rangers at right back. He was on a place. Oh, that's right in the face there. And I, I think that was accidental. There was nothing malicious about it. I'm well, just praising him for his performance in place of Perini the other night. He hardly deserves that. Ferguson, Rangers, down to 10 men, momentarily. There's a lovely ball to Ar Albert, he picked that up beautifully. Can he get a shot? And he does! And I think Robert Douglas took that over for the corner kick to make absolutely sure. And, and indeed, if you see the power of this shot, allied to the kind of slippery conditions, that's a very good save. Albert. I don't think he actually meant that, and Wallace taking that from Moore, Moore scoops it over. Well, he had to take it instinctively, I don't think that's what Alberts had in mind. Moore with a little flick, and Wallace being closely marked there, that's about all he could do. McCann plenty his face, but he's lying very deep. Wallace nicely inside. Put through away to the far side as Johansson comes in and it's just over. Good move by Rangers again. Typical of the sweeping play they played in the first 20 minutes against Dortmund. There comes Johansson and I think the ball just slid away too much to his right hand side there. Albert better corner kick this time back to Reyna. Goes in the outside, and it's just off the line. Great shot by Amoruso, and then over by Douglas. And still, that goal survives. 
The captain up there twice. There's Reina coming in, setting it up in the first place. Neat little jink. Watch a part of this. He really hit that. Great save in the line and then the header. Douglas dealing with it. There he is. The warrior Mendic. Mario Sadamchuk. I think he's had a stick or two put in there. And he's back off. Newman eyeing the ball closely. Boyack. Took that very well, Boyack. Got a little bit of space for himself. And Moore stepping in. Concedes a corner kick. A lad is over right in the middle of the box. This will be taken by Sean McSkimming. Looking for that in-swinger again. And a test on Thomas Meyer. There's a head of the goal. It's a beautiful goal. Is that what went across? Craig Island comes up and shatters the assumption of the Ranger supporters that a goal would have come their way in that first 15 minutes. Beautiful header indeed, but no marking on the far side and for such a tall player like Island, getting up very well there. And it goes for the first time in a long while. Moore up jumped there. Rangers punish for it. The knee, one up. Wallace, Reina, Adamchuk on the support here. And there's a great save! Wonderful instinctive stop there by Douglas, but look how superbly well Johansson took this. As that must be one of the saves of the season. Well, Jockey Scott realizes there's a long way to go in this game yet, but he must be delighted with the way the team have come from uh, looking a little bit shaky in the first 10 minutes to take the lead. Nice little ball inside, and the damn shoot lets him run the ball over the line. Yeah, he is struggling now. being replaced and I think uh, Tony Bidmark coming back on and Rangers will have to uh, rearrange their defense yes. going right for Rangers at the moment, being caught in possession, giving the ball away easily. And Dundee trying to capitalize on it. Vilio and Sadiq with enough ball and Bidmar. Did get his set to it, the ball is still in play though. Just touched away by Amaruka. And Dundee causing this Rangers defense infinitely more problems than Borussia Dortmund did on Thursday night. Really putting it forward. The referee says that's a free kick. I certainly thought he went initially for the ball. Might have carried through after that. There's a bit of cramp going on here after that stretch. holding his hamstring in fact and I think Rangers are going to make another substitution yes it looks to me as if uh, Moore is having to come off so another change of defense by Wallace and to Johansson and he left the ball behind him here's Reyna Almost constant Rangers attacking just before half time. Ferguson again. Good justice. Can the everybody back inside the box. And it goes little quick there. There's always the extra. Rangers right down to the wire. An excellent game it turned out to be. So I think we're going to be in for a very interesting second half here. Remember. Although Dundee may have it uh, in their mind to simply hold on to what they have, that could be dangerous against this Rangers side. Uh, and especially 
since Rangers have had to dramatically restructure the defence, there's always the possibility of a slip up there. Alberts. Continue Rangers attacks now. Celsius. Two men around them. Alberts. We'll try the shot again. There was a little deflection, but I didn't think it deviated all that much. I think he was right to measure himself up for that, and Johansson getting in the win. I think all he did was take the sting out of the shot. Oh, here's McCann in a good position. for McCann going down there softish or very soft <laughs> depending on how you look at it now here's the tackle from the back that has been the, the touch the Dundee players are still arguing about this but most of a curry seems to be no doubt about it so George Albert delegated the task of lifting this Rangers side. And it's not their day. Nothing going right for Rangers at all. Good save by Douglas, but to be honest, a very poor penalty. Albert, I think, epitomizing the indecision that has stricken this Rangers team this afternoon. Here's Reyna. Here's Johansson, and jump back. That was a better move and a better effort by Johansson. Indeed, his first clean effort in the game. I think just put off by that uh, last-minute attempt at the tackle. Genchelskis. with it now, final ball is a vital one here. Albert, not enough to get it. He tried to place it that time. And we're certainly getting an exciting game. There it was played back across the path of Albert to try to sweep it round the goalkeeper. Everybody backtracking for the knee. But again, a little bit too obvious. That's a bit of chipping, and Jury was almost there. Sanchelski is going in and just passed. He did the right thing to turn to that left foot of his. And again, harassed by the Dundee defenders from the start giving Rangers, not a single Rangers player, the chance to set. Play to Ferguson. Now on to Wallace. There's Kinchelskis. And there's the head of the first, and it must be yes, Wallace! As he pull out for Rangers off the post, and although he's had, by his standards, an atrocious afternoon, he was in there like a flash. To put Rangers on level terms, and after all the incessant pressure, without any great deal of imagination, it was more erosion of this defence than anything else. Rangers on level terms, and last season's top goal scorer getting in there again, scoring his seventh goal of the season that way. Well, they must be disappointed at this stage now. They were holding out, and holding out rather well, actually. And it's a bit more relieved now. Ready? Well, there's a touch over, and there was nobody going for him. Looking around at each other, 
Ferguson simply allowed to run into the box there and Amoruso caught a little bit flat Albert do it again to my cat gets a corner Again, he closed them down very well in that corner. There's Bidmar with a header! And I do believe that Johansson got in the way of that. Loaded in there, good header down by Bidmar. Amoruso just touching that away. He's almost beaten for pace there. High up and under. The nice ball inside. It's in. The D has scored. An amazing winner that will be. No defense for Rangers on the left. And rifling into it, Gavin Ray. Coming from the outside there. Putting it away, and the Rangers, for the time left, cannot come back from that. Ferguson. Yes, free kick. Again, it hits that solid white wall as the whistle goes, and the D have given Rangers the first 